Hello, I'm Ellen Goldberg, and welcome to the Language of the Palm. In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about what the hand can reveal about love and marriage. And it is, of course, one of the most fascinating topics that the hand can talk about. The likelihood of marriage is shown on some hands, but not shown on others. Hands with many lines are more likely to tell us more information because they're impressionable. Hands with many lines, each line is something the mind remembers, and so things make an impression on them. Hands with few lines are less impressionable. They may have just as good a relationship as someone with many lines. In fact, they may have an excellent relationship, but because they take life differently, it doesn't register and is not written on the hand. So it's not a guarantee just because something's not there that it's not gonna happen. There are two places where we see things for uh, love and marriage, and one of them is on the Mount of Venus, which we know concerns itself greatly with love. Sometimes you just see one very long line, and that would be very lucky. That would mean there is one deep, true love all the life. However, be aware of where these lines begin, because how we do timing on these lines is we mentally draw an invisible line over to the lifeline and note the age at which it starts. Here it would be about age 21. And you note where the line stops. Then you know the age at which the line or the influence of the human being uh, ends. So interestingly, these lines will be found on both hands. The lines on your recessive hand will show who impresses your heart and the lines on your dominant hand shows whose heart will you have an influence upon. The greatest pleasure is to find lines of equal strength in both hands at the same time because it shows that influence goes back and forth equally. But it is often that one loves more or one loves less and you'll be able to see that in the hand. Now, it is not just romance that shows up on these lines of influence. Be aware that if they start early in life, way near the thumb and where the start of the lifeline is, that this section is early life, and so the lines there may be friends and certainly can be family. Note that it is possible to have more than one line. The closer the line is to the lifeline, the more intimate the relationship. The further away from the lifeline, the more they're likely to be friends. Another place that lines are shown that have to do with marriage or affection are called the lines of affection, and they are on the Mount of Mercury. They come in from the edge. In fact, I think we have a picture of Angelina Jolie's hand, and although the hand is turned in this picture and not the best for viewing the whole palm, what is visible is one long line on the Mount of Mercury coming in from the edge, and you can see she was meant to have one true love. I think she's found it. I don't use the lines of affection very much because it's very hard to tell age, but if they are deep, know that closer to the heart line is youth, and as you get up towards the finger of Mercury, that's older years, that's old age. So you could go young life, middle life, later life, and just have a feeling in general for those lines. Everyone has a different love style. People with large amounts of Venus, because they give and receive love so much, probably will have an easier time of it. People with flat hands with a good deal of Saturn are repressed and it's very hard for them to express their love. If you have a feeling for one of those tall, slender, serious types, why don't you tell them? Don't wait for them to tell you. They're shy. Music